The elusive magic bullet, a delivery system for medicine that only targets the bad cells, a system to make the treatment of life-threatening diseases more effective than ever before. This magic bullet sounds like the perfect choice for targeted treatment of many diseases. You might even call it the holy grail of medicine. But after a century of research, we still don't know exactly how to target the bad cells exclusively. We are still searching for the perfect delivery system, one that can safely and effectively deliver the drug into the right subcellular compartment of affected cells. That is where the difficulty lies, particularly in the case of drugs that are based on DNA or RNA. Every day we ingest several grams of foreign DNA and RNA from the food that we eat. This never changes the DNA in our cells because our body is designed to destruct all exogenous DNA in order to prevent diseases. It's clear then that if we want gene therapy to work, we have to beat our own defense system. A way to overcome some of the obstacles is to inject DNA molecules right into the bloodstream. But this is not enough. First, after injection, the foreign DNA is rapidly degraded by enzymes in our blood. For those DNA molecules that survive enzymatic attack, there are several more barriers at the cellular level. The DNA molecules are too large to penetrate cell membranes and as such cannot gain access into the cell's interior. Efficient delivery systems for DNA and RNA can be found in nature in the form of viruses, bacteria, and extracellular membrane vesicles. Our research is an attempt to copy these biological systems in a synthetic way in order to provide an accurate delivery system that causes less immune responses. To make such an artificial delivery system, first, a vesicle is created around the gene. Then we add a protein, making it able to home to the target cells. Once the cell binds to the target receptor, the vesicle is eaten up and ends in a bag known as the endosome. Within the endosome, the vesicle surface changes, thereby enabling the disruption of the endosome and release of the vesicle contents into the cytosol. After the contents are released, an exposed peptide flag recruits endogenous proteins to transport the DNA into the nucleus via the nuclear pores, small gated channels in the nuclear envelope that are normally closed for large DNA molecules. Once the DNA is in the nucleus, it can be read, leading to the formation of proteins via an RNA intermediate. We all want this magic bullet to be realized. Bright minds from various backgrounds are needed in order to transform gene therapy from a headline into a leading method of treatment.